Hi everyone, it's Vanessa here. How are you? I'm fine. Summer is here and it's hot and sunny where I live. Is it hot and sunny where you live? These are my favourite things about summer. I love strawberries, watermelon, cherries, ice cream and picnics. Picnics are my favourite. I also love roses. Aren't they beautiful? Look, there's a red rose and a pink rose, a yellow one, an orange one and a white one. Aren't they beautiful? This summer may be a little bit different. Instead of our vacation, we may have a staycation. A staycation is quite a new word and it means that we stay at home for our vacation. Have a look at the photo. It's a staycation tent. You can make one to have a picnic in at home and it's really good fun and easy to make. I'll show you later. The good thing about staycations are that we can still be with our family. My family are going to play board games, do some cooking and do virtual visits. You can visit museums, art galleries, whole cities and you can visit zoos. You can even visit London Zoo if you want to. Would you like to listen to a story? This story is called Closing Time and it's a fantasy story about animals. Are you ready? Have a think. Which animals do you think are in the story? A meerkat or a giraffe with its long neck? A dolphin? A lion or a hippo. Boom, 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 boom. How about a tiger or a gorilla? A seal or a whale? How about a panda? Or a tortoise. Or maybe there are some monkeys. What do you think? Hmm. Danny is at the zoo with his best friends, Andrew and Emma. The zookeeper says, our zoo has got the happiest animals because when it closes at five o'clock, we let them out of their enclosures. Mom says, make sure you're back here at five o'clock. Have a good time. And Danny says, OK, Mom, see you later. The children go to see the lions. And the giraffes. Andrew doesn't like the snakes. <gasps> Let's go and see the monkeys. The children watch the monkeys for a long time. They don't notice the other visitors leave. Look! What's the monkey drawing? <gasps> it's a clock. It wants to tell us that we're late. Oh no, they're letting the animals out. <gasps> we're in the worst trouble. The children aren't here, says mom. Don't let them out. The zookeeper says, I'm sorry, 
It's too late. We let the animals out five minutes ago. The children try to find the entrance, but they're lost. How can we escape? says Danny. The snakes, says Andrew. The lions! What can we do? We can't get out. Can you understand me? Of course. But please don't tell anyone we can talk. We can help. We need the strongest and the tallest animals. This elephant is the biggest and the strongest animal in the zoo. The giraffes are the tallest. The children slide down the giraffes. Thank you. You're the cleverest monkeys in the world. There you are, says Mom. Are you okay? Yes, we're fine. What an amazing zoo. Can we come again tomorrow? No way, says Mom. Do you remember the monkeys from the story? They were very clever, weren't they? They had a hidden talent. We've all got hidden talents. And they can be very different one from the other. What's your hidden talent? I've got a hidden talent. I'm quite good at cooking and baking. I like baking cakes, but my favourite are chocolate brownies. Everyone loves my chocolate brownies. I think it's because I've got a secret ingredient. Would you like to know what my secret ingredient is? Come with me to the kitchen and let's make some brownies. So, let's make the brownies. You need some help from an adult because you're going to use the oven and it's hot. So, you need to ask your mom or dad or maybe an older sister or a brother to give you a helping hand. Okay? To make the brownie, you need my recipe from below. So, what I have done is to make it a little bit easier. So we use two bowls, bowl one and bowl two. And then we have to mix the two together. Are you ready? So, put the six squares of chocolate from the recipe into bowl one. And put the bowl in the microwave. 600 for two minutes. So, take the chocolate out of the microwave, but be very careful because the bowl is hot. And stir the chocolate. Then put the bowl back in the microwave at 600 again for about one minute. But you need to be careful. So, if you look at the recipe, you'll see that bowl one needs a cup of butter. Put the cup of butter into the bowl with the hot chocolate and stir. You could put them in the microwave for one minute, but again, be careful. And now for my shh secret ingredient. It's chocolate spread, like you put on your bread. And you need half a cup of chocolate spread. Put it in the mixture with the melted chocolate and butter in bowl one and stir very well. 
Now we've finished with bowl one and we're going to go on to bowl two. Moving on to bowl two, we need to take four eggs and break them into the bowl. Now measure out a cup and a half of sugar. Pour the sugar into the four eggs and mix them together very well. Now it's time to mix bowl one with bowl two. Pour the chocolate mixture into the eggs and sugar and beat it together very, very well so that we end up with one chocolate mixture. Now we need half a cup of flour and we need to add one teaspoon of baking powder to the flour and stir. Then add the flour to the chocolate mixture and beat it very well. Now that everything is mixed in very well, we need to chop the rest of the bar of chocolate. And if you like, you could use half a cup of walnuts. They're my favorite. Add the chocolate and the walnuts to our mixture and mix everything in very well. You need to prepare your tin with some greaseproof paper, like in the photo over there. And once that's ready, pour in your brownie mixture. Then be very careful, and this is when I think maybe you need an adult to help, you need to put the brownie in the oven for about 45 to 55 minutes. Take the brownie out of the oven and test with a knife. If the knife is clean, then the brownie is good and ready. Then leave it to cool for about one hour. Then you can cut your brownie into pieces ready for your picnic. In a couple of minutes, we're going to watch a video about a day trip to London. But first, we're going to sing a song. Are you ready? There are lots of actions. The song's called A Day Trip to London. In the museums in London, there are quite a lot of skeletons of dinosaurs. So, for museums, we're going to do a dinosaur, like a T-Rex. And then theatres, the curtains in a theatre. We were happy just to be there. There were lots to do and lots to see. Big red buses, like the wheels on the bus, and people drinking tea. And then we're excited, so we're going to go a day trip to London. What a great city to visit. So we're going to walk around London. The people were friendly. And we loved every minute of it. And then we've got standing in the middle of Trafalgar Square. We were excited just to be there. The paintings were great at the National Gallery. And then Tower Bridge opens. Did you know that? Okay, so Tower Bridge was a great place to see. And then we've got the London Eye. It's a very big wheel. Can you see it? Okay, so now all aboard the London Eye. 
don't be scared, it goes very high. From up here, you can see all around hotels, bus stations and parks on the ground. Are you ready? There were museums and theatres everywhere There were museums and theatres everywhere And we were happy just to be there And we were happy just to be there There was lots to do and lots to see Big red buses and people drinking tea Trafalgar Square Standing in the middle of Trafalgar Square We were excited just to be there We were excited just to be there The paintings were great in the National Gallery Tower Bridge was a great place to see London Eye Now all aboard the big London Eye Don't be scared, it goes very high Don't be scared, it goes very high From up here you can see all around Hotels, bus stations and parks on the ground A day trip to London What a great city to visit Have you got your picnic? Let's go on a tour of London with Jack. Are you ready? Hi, I was in London last week. It was a school holiday. This is my train ticket. I often go to London in the holidays with my family. It's amazing! There are so many great places to see. Have a look at some of them. There are lots of famous buildings in London. This is Buckingham Palace, where the Queen lives when she's in London. Look! There isn't a flag flying. This means she isn't at home at the moment. Many important buildings are near to the River Thames. These are the famous Houses of Parliament. The tower on the right is Big Ben. That's the name of the bell inside the tower. But its real name is Elizabeth Tower. There are lots of things to do in London. You can visit a museum. This is the British Museum. You can find out a lot about history here. Or you can go to the Natural History Museum to see the dinosaurs. Do you like going to watch plays? There are more than 150 theatres in London. So you can probably find something you want to watch. There are lots of hotels in London too. 
The Ritz Hotel is very expensive. It's got 135 bedrooms and three restaurants. Careful! London is always changing and the buildings change too. This is Covent Garden. There was a fruit and vegetable market here 50 years ago, but now it's a shopping district. Did you like visiting London with Jack? Well, you could continue your virtual visit if you go to the website below. You can see all the important places in London and see all around you 360 degrees. It's really great. It feels as if you are almost in London. Where are you going to have your picnic? If you want to make a tent like mine, it's very easy. You need a sheet and some pegs. Then you take four chairs and you put them next to your sofa. Put a blanket on the ground so it's not too cold and then put some cushions to make it mm, nice and comfortable. Then take your sheet and put it over the chairs like in photograph three and peg the sheet to the chairs and then it's finished you can see in photograph four Fifi thinks that I've made the tent for her can you see her maybe you decide to have your picnic in the park now that we can go out a little bit if you live somewhere hot and sunny like me then you need to be careful in the sun. There are some very important things. We need to wear sun cream. We need to wear a sun hat. It's a good idea to wear a t-shirt. We need to drink water, use a sun umbrella, and we could wear sunglasses. Are you ready? So we're going to sing a song about being safe in the sun.
if we do go out to the park, there are two very important rules we need to remember. We need to wear a mask and we also need to keep our distance, two meters from everyone else. Okay, so you ready? Wear a mask, everyone. Wear a mask, everyone. Wear a mask, everyone. Be safe, everyone. Keep your distance, everyone. Keep your distance, everyone. Keep your distance, everyone. Be safe, everyone. It's time for me to go now, but I'm going to leave you with this lovely poster that I found on Onsplash. You have the link at the bottom. Keep each other safe. Wash your hands. Protect each other by staying apart from people who don't live in your house. Stay safe and stay at home. So no matter where you have your summer holidays this year, have a lovely time and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.